okay in this session we're going to talk about the customer account group where have we seen the customer account group if you try to create a customer go to logistics sales and distribution master data business partner customer and then create right so go to VD01 or XD01 and the first thing that you would have to enter is this account group also called as a customer account group now when we discuss the customer master I told you that you can just use 0001 for now and then go ahead and create the customer master but what does this really affect what is the purpose of the customer account group in order to understand this let's take two customers all right let me go to the change mode take two customers 1000 and 1050 in another screen two customers two different customers and then let's go to the sales area data for both these customers by clicking on the sales area data as usual as you can see both these customers are entirely different in the way their fields are set in the way they have their tabs set so what is the difference between the two what differentiates these two customers the difference is between these two customers for example what I was trying to say is you know this guy has sales shipping billing and partner functions tabs and but this 1050 customer only has sales and billing and inside each of these tabs for example customer thousand has the sales tab has the sales district as the 0010 whereas 1050 does not have the sales district so where is this configuration you know what what really is differentiating between the two as you have guessed already both of them belong to a different customer account group so once a customer is created how do you know which customer account group that customer belongs to just go to extras and administrative data and then you'll see a pop-up like this okay where you will see that the customer belongs to a particular customer account group in this case 001 and in this case 003 so this is a sold to party and this is a payer the names doesn't really matter sold to party ship to party distributor payer hierarchy customer we'll get to that at a later point but both of them fundamentally belong to different customer account groups all right so where are they configured in order to in order to configure the customer account group just go to SPRO IMG logist and then logistics general business partner customers control then click on define account groups the reason why um, customer master configuration is in logistics general is because logistics general mostly contains configuration that's common across all of the logistics sections like logistics execution transportation shipping so on and so forth if you are doing SPRO for the first time uh, all you have to understand is SPRO is a transaction code and we will be discussing this as part of a separate um, class um, you have just have to type in the configuration code SPRO and then click on the display um, reference IMG SAP implementation guide and then you'll be taken to the logistics general section you can move on to pa business partner customers just like you would in any easy access control okay so once you click on this you'll be taken to all the different customer account groups we have already created customers or seen customers that belonged 
to this customer account groups 0001003 if you go inside any one of those let's say 0001 and then you'll see that there are a certain number of controls behind them so let's go inside and see what are the controls all right so we'll go to SPRO by clicking on SPRO and then IMG when I meant IMG you have to click on this button SAP reference IMG click and then <coughs> select logistics general business partner and customers control and define customer account groups well, the path is there in the notes so no worries don't worry about remembering it once you click on it like we have sh seen in that workbook there are a number of customer account groups so select and then either double click it or click on the magnifying glass and these are the controls that you see you see that for customer account group there is a number range we'll come to number range in a bit but most importantly there is something here called as field status and there are three different field statuses general data company code data sales data now, apart from that there are other things like text controls customer pricing procedure partner determination procedure so on and so forth which uh, will require a considerable understanding of other concepts in order to understand these okay so we're going to ignore that for now we're going to concentrate on two different aspects the first one being the field status group and after that we'll move on to number ranges so what about field status group so we have general data here and then company code and then sales data right this should ring a bell already when we discuss the customer master we have seen that there are three different sections in the customer master right general data company code data and then sales data and the customer account group has these three different sections as well now you can double click on any of these sections like for example if you want to see the controls behind the general data just double click on it all right let me go back again here we have company code data double click on it and then you'll go into the, f the status groups inside that particular view again once again if you want to go into sales data just double click on it okay now you know that for example the sales data has sales a view has the sales data shipping data billing data partner functions so on right you can see the parallel here the sales group the field status groups are sales shipping billing partner data and so on so this is a direct representation of the different tabs in the customer master so let me take a screenshot here so that uh, you can easily remember it all right let me insert a page okay see there is a sales there is shipping there is billing so on and so forth okay so it's a direct representation of the different tabs now just double click on sales for example and then you'll see that for sales tab in the customer master sales data what do we have okay looks like something is wrong here so let me just correct it okay in the sales tab what do we have 
we have a sales group here a field called the sales group but what does it really say it says suppressed the status of the field status group sales group is set to suppress set to suppressed what about sales district now this one is display and you can see that the sales district is display de 010 can you modify it no it's grayed out right what about customer group customer group is a required entry right so let me take another screenshot here so that you can easily map what's going on here okay so you see that the sales district is set to display right so the sales district is set to display and hence this is grayed out right price group or customer group let's say where is the customer group customer group is set to re required entry and it's not grayed out so you see that there is a facility where you can enter the customer group and if you do not enter the customer group let's say you don't enter anything you see what's happening here you see that there is a check mark that comes up here right and that check mark is just saying that you know what you gotta fill it without filling it you cannot proceed forward and that's what SAP yeah that's what the picture over here is saying it's saying hey you know what you have to fill it up Okay, let me just move all this stuff here and then move this stuff here move this picture here okay so when it says required entry it means that your customer group is mandatory you have to fill it and of course optional is pretty obvious right optional you can fill it you don't need to fill it and then suppress is a way of suppressing that field from being visible on the screen so sales group is suppressed and hence not visible suppressed hence not visible right so this is the crux of field status group can we make fields visible or not in the master data screen is what a field status group dictates all right so well, that's that and then uh, what about number ranges the next one is number ranges so we have zero one here assigned to the customer account group zero 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 one and what does zero one say so just go to two steps below this is where you have behind the customer account group just go two steps below and then we have define and assign number ranges define and assign number ranges so the number range that has been assigned to 0001 is 01 what does 01 say 01 says that the number range for 01 is 1 just preceding by you know dummy zeros until nine 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 five nines so it almost until hundred thousand and the most important part it's an external number range now what does that mean that means that the numbers have to fall in between one and nine 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 and the number has to be entered externally by the user let me see and uh, give you an example of it if we try and create a customer master as usual with the transaction code VD01 and then use 0001 as the customer account group and hit enter it immediately says that you know use external number assignment this means that whenever you try to create a new customer uh, that has the number range 0 1 associated with it 
you have to enter a customer number using the customer account create screen if you don't use it if you don't enter something it doesn't allow you to go forward and this is the error that you see okay if you don't enter the customer number okay you get an error while creating the customer in vd01 or xd01 whatever fd01 right for example if we had 02 as the customer account number then the number range is different here but you would not have to enter it it would be external it would be internal and system would automatically generate it we'll have a separate session on uh, number ranges uh, where we define number ranges for um, sales documents where we define number range for a whole uh, set of transactions the fundamentals are the same but um, in that section we'll see how to create new number ranges what is overlap how to avoid overlap uh, what are the properties of number ranges like transportable versus non-transportable and all that stuff will be dealt with in a separate class but for now just understand that this is where the numbers are coming from so the number customer number is defined at the customer account group level all right so that's the customer account group any questions just post them in our forum and then uh, uh, we will discuss that as part of a Q&A Thank you. Bye-bye.